joining us now to offer their thoughts from Bird Camp. That's CBS lead NFL insider Jonathan Jones and the two time Super Bowl champ Brian McFadden. Fellas, exciting times right now in the land of Philadelphia, but really driven by the opportunity squandered in last year's Super Bowl. JJ, what's the latest tenor you're feeling and hearing out of Eagles camp? You know, Joe, I actually talked with Jalen Hurts just a little bit ago out here, and he, he's always about, yeah, okay, learn from last year, sure, but move on, and last year is not going to impact this year. It's all about stacking days. And, you know, you hear, BMAC, I know you've lived so many football cliches over the years, but uh, it, it's true. You've got to go day to day. Mm -hmm. And that's what these guys, that's what these Eagles are out here doing right now, where they say, yeah, there was some incredible success last season. And, yes, uh, getting to the NFC Championship is hard, yeah. but they have a heck of a team. But they know that just because they had 70 sacks on defense last year, just because Jalen Hurts was a runner-up to the MVP last year, doesn't mean that that's going to be a given yeah. in 2023. I mean, for me, the mindset of redemption is something that I felt and also got an opportunity to talk to some of the guys. That's something they echo indirectly, you know, trying to get back to where they were a year ago, but seal the deal. Because the game of football in the, in the NFL is so hard. It's hard to get to the playoffs. It's hard to get, find an opportunity to get to a championship. And when you do, you want to take care of that opportunity because you don't know if you will ever have the luxury of doing so again. But as you mentioned, JJ, the talent they have on this Man. team, it's hard to not notice the talent from top to bottom on both sides of football. If they stay healthy along with the, uh, the maturation process of Jalen Hurts, something that we, we've we all witnessed, no question. They have a legit, a legit shot to get back to that moment once again. But they're trying to get back to their, to that championship moment and seize the day. Yeah, maybe not on the mouth, but certainly on the mind is that Super Bowl dangling out in front of them in an NFC where they are uh, likely the favorites alongside the 49ers, depending on what they can do at the quarterback position. But staying here, guys, in Philadelphia, JJ, you mentioned it, that conversation with Jalen Hurts. Uh, 255 million votes of confidence is something that does something for your confidence if you're the quarterback of a franchise. And Hertz is really leading this team, but with a different expectation this season. Do you see that uh, affecting his play at all? Last year was the prove it this year. This year, he's proven it, and now the expectation is Super Bowl. Yeah, you know, in talking with some folks, and I talked off camera with a number of Eagles folks uh, throughout the day here uh, at their complex, and they said the money certainly has not changed Jalen Hurts, and that was to be expected. In fact, after he signed his contract, they asked him, what's changed now that you're the highest paid player in NFL history, which he was at the time. He said, ain't nothing changed but the weather. And so that is his mentality, and it's about going out there and, of course, uh, proving it each and every day. You have uh, a quarterback who... He, he seeks greatness, you know. He just went out here and actually just signed with Jordan Brand as a, a new athlete mm -hmm. with them. He's talked with Michael Jordan on the phone. He appreciates what Jordan has had to say to him, and we talked about that even earlier today. And so this is a guy who, okay, number three on the NFL Top 100 list, runner-up to MVP. You know, what's better than three is number one. You know, what's better than runner-up to MVP <laughs> is winning that MVP and, of course, bringing a second Lombardi here to Philadelphia. To whom much is given, much is expected for the, the, the performances that he put forth for all of us to see was something that we did not expect from him. But the way he played the game a year ago, being rewarded nicely with a new contract, now that's what we're expecting yeah. to see. You remember if you go back to the conversations for Jalen Hurts a year ago around this same time, it was more about is he the face of the franchise? Can he be a franchise quarterback? That's right. He answered all of those questions easily a year ago. Got rewarded. Now it's about sustaining that level of production and for him he's attacking every day joe with that mindset he's trying to be great he's striving to be great he's trying to be the ultimate leader on off the football field and that's why i like their chances because when you have a outstanding leader at the quarterback position that does things the right way and he leads by his work ethic all the troops are going to follow and we saw that mindset a year ago with a year of experience under his belt i think he would continue to do the same things that we saw from last year we'll see how they deal with that weight of expectation hurts a guy who says a lot without really saying a lot we're excited to see his play do the talking this season once again and there's a lot of excitement around much of this football team and all of those positional rooms mac if you had a question mark right now regarding these philadelphia eagles where does that lie 
Well, in the secondary at the safety position, Joe and JJ, and the reason why I say that, you look at the top three safeties from a year ago, two of these guys are no longer with the ball club, and Epps and Gardner Johnson, two guys that played exceptionally well for their secondary, for their defense in totality, and they were great in regards to creating turnovers and tackling. They tackle extremely well. They're no longer here. Now you talk about having Reed Blakenship. They yep. signed Edmonds. They drafted Sidney Brown, who a guy I love coming out of Illinois. They're trying to find the same consistency, the same production in the secondary that they had a year ago. And they're kind of going through the process day by day throughout training camp. You know, you see guys rotating in different, different positions with different units. So even though on paper they have the two starters, I still believe this is a competition. So that's my big-time area of concern on the defensive side, the safety position, because like I mentioned, Chauncey Gardner Johnson, outstanding football turnover machine, interception king. And then you look at Epps and what he did, given the opportunity, they played big time football. For them. You know, safety for me is actually number two, yeah. but I'm going to keep it on defense and I'm going to go linebacker here and specifically the off ball linebacker position because they lost TJ Edwards mm -hmm. to free agency. And look, we're not talking about Hassan Reddick, who is technically a linebacker, linebacker right? Yeah. An outside linebacker. We're talking about the man in the middle. And so is that going to be N'Kobe Dean, mm -hmm. right? And so he's been battling injury the last week or so. Can he step up and really kind of take over that middle of the defense position that they really had locked down last year? DJ Edwards was one of their leading tacklers yeah. last year. You'd have to worry about that. And so that's the one that I'm looking for. Uh, you know, this is a team in a championship window, championship caliber players at almost every position, but it's just that spot there at linebacker. Look, we could sit here both and say, oh, health is going to be their biggest yeah. question mark, of course. But when you look at their, their lines, both lines, of scrimmage probably the best in the NFL when you include them in totality mm -hmm. yeah you and I think we're almost nitpicking a little bit just to justify answering this question like <laughs> oh yeah the safeties oh yeah can N'Kobe Dean who was a fantastic player in college can he really turn it on but that frankly is what you have to do with such a fantastic team yeah. like the Philadelphia Eagles is nitpick because that's going to be the difference between an NFC championship game appearance and a Super Bowl victory uh, what did Jalen Hurts tell you? Ain't nothing changed but the weather. It looks like the weather's changing behind you quickly, fellas. So I'm going to get you out of here. J.J. Mack, we appreciate the insights, as always, from Eagles camp. Our guys breaking it down, and the conversation continues on all things covered. P2 and B Mac sitting down with some of the biggest names in sports and entertainment for can't-miss conversations each and every week. Download, subscribe, and enjoy all things covered.